Okay, we're gonna have to come back, but that's okay. We can do that later. Okay, back to base. And do we have any room for anything? Nope. Right back to base. <laughs> okay. My seeds are rotten? Oh no! I didn't even know seeds could go rotten. Does this mean they won't grow? Oh, you can still plant them. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks, chat. Fantastic. Fantastic. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Uh oh, we just got a new radio signal. Nice. Hmm, that's a little bumpy. No big deal though. Ah, oh, yes, much better. Okay, so for this one, we'll do uh, lantern fruit and Chinese potato. Actually, we'll do all these in here for now. Get those going. And then over here, we'll put this in. And eventually, we're, this is all going to be marble melon. We'll get that going. Going well. Over here, we're going to put our next grow bed. Another thing we actually need to do is I don't think I noticed any creep vine near us. Oh, there's some creep vine right there. Okay, I was going to grow some near the base, but if you don't need to, that's fine too. Okay, looking at our inventory, we've got some quartz. We'll also store lead in here. Salt we'll put in here because that's kind of going to be used for natural stuff. Uh, we need to build a new one. We're out of titanium already. That's fine. Um, for constructed goods. And that'll be like glass and silicone rubber and stuff. But I think it's getting dark. Is it dark out there? Yeah. We'll just poke around real quick for some metal and stuff, but we're not going to do too much right now. Actually, probably getting some food going would be a good idea. Get some papers. Ah, good. I need more titanium. Man, it is dark. Oh, that's the thermal bed. <laughs> Let's not go in there. Next big thing up for us is the sea moth. We're going to start working on that probably tomorrow. Tomorrow in the game. Sorry, that was rude. We'll start working on that the next day. Go ahead and get our O2 back. Mm -hmm. There we go. God dang, it is dark. We do not mess around at night. What do we got in here? More titanium. Okay, we're not going to be getting the eggs yet, but we will be getting those eventually. We need our alien containment for that first. Whoa. Yo, we are mean. Jesus. 30 seconds. Oh no. Have I made a huge mistake? I might have made a huge mistake. 
Oh god, we're in the we're in the thermal vent. Go! Mm. Woo! Awesome. All right. That was about as close as we could have made it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great, great, great. All right, let's deconstruct these. And actually, I think we'll make some grow beds right next to our base to put some um, put some creep vine in. And that way, we'll have we'll just have creep vine right next to us if we ever need it. Although we technically do have creep vine, like, Five right next to our base. is a proven survival strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw, salad of live tree roaches and stag root. <laughs> okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. 30 seconds. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look and see what we need to do to build this seam on. Uh, the peepers... We'll go ahead and eat. I really need to make a flashlight? Yeah, I do. I do. Hey, what's up, Vince? How you doing, bud? All right, we're gonna get super fatty, super fatty, super fatty. Oh, we can overeat. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, we'll also go ahead and use that. We need to get some more water going here, though. All right, let's see what we're working with here. What do we need for this thing? A Seamoth is a is a pretty serious upgrade, so I'm assuming this is going to be costly. Okay. Let's go get our ingot from the other side. We also need to get uh, four acid shrooms. We need to get more copper. I don't think we're going to have enough copper. So we need these for the two batteries for the power cell. Um, I'll have to look at getting... Oh, what is that? Is that an egg? Oh, look at that. Huh. I'll have to look at getting some copper. So on the way back to the other place to get the ingot, we'll go ahead and bust open some rocks. Rokes. Hopefully get lucky. We'll see. Hmm. Always can use more titanium. Come on, copper. Yeah. Is that copper? Boop. Perfect. There's one battery. The lubricant will need um, the creep vine cluster for. That's easy to get. The glass, we have all the quartz we need for that. The ingot we're going to get. And then the power cell needs one other thing. What else does the power cell need? Silicon? And I think we have some of that too. Oxygen. Should be okay. Oxygen. Drossian, yeah man, we got a 200 sub train. Pretty crazy. Big thank you to all the people supporting the channel today. Very much, very much appreciate your support. Thank you for letting me play games like this for you. My lord, I love doing stuff like this. And it's all thanks to the sub tips and cheers that I can, so thank you, dudes. Thank you kindly. There we go. And you. Okay, we should get a good amount of water from this now. We'll make the water at the other place. Actually, here too. But we're, we're, just, we're doing it live, man. Yoink. Oh my god, look at all this. Jesus. Hey, Wiznat, what's up, buddy? 
Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Where is the subtrain? If you're wondering where the subtrain is, look right here. This is my overlay. This is the game. Overlay. Game. Overlay. Subtrain timer is what I'm pointing at. Yeah. Well! The Sunbeam landing site is going to get here in 40 minutes. For the Sunbeam. Um, interesting. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Have I met the Sunbeam before? Maybe? I, I don't remember. I think they I think the last time I played they had just put it in. And I think something happened when it arrived and it didn't work right or something? I don't I man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. All I know is we're gonna be at those coordinates at that time. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. Let's break down some more titanium. Churn. Oh, well, we're basically, yeah, right now we're playing the, the last release, and then on the 16th, we're basically getting the full game. So in three days, we get the press version, which, uh, which will have everything in it. But the caveat is... Even though it has everything in it, we can't get to the end until the 23rd, which is like the big ending sequence. So right now, we're basically playing the version that you can go buy and download right now. Everything you're looking at right now, if you download Subnautica right now, this is what you get. And then on the 16th, we get a new version, and we're going to play that to the 23rd, and then we're going to finish it on the 23rd. Yep. I, I, would, I would potentially finish it earlier, but I'm really big about respecting embargoes. And I was told specifically they don't want any of the ending stuff before the release. And that's what we're gonna stick to. That's the dev's decision, and we're sticking to it. Uh, let's bring all this to, oh, we gotta bring this stuff. Um, we can drop off a couple titanium pieces. There we go. Okay. I'm just thrilled they're letting me play the press version on the 16th. That's that's totally awesome of them. Yeah, Hovering Hog. They've made a lot of changes to this game, especially lately. Since I played last, the graphics went over a huge overhaul. The UI went over a huge overhaul. Tons of new flavor stuff added. Um, Popman has been significantly fixed. Uh, they removed durability, which was a great change. There's just been so many little things that have been better since the last time I played. It's kind of nuts. Kind of nuts. Smokey Smoked says, but we can buy it now? Then it's released? Remember PUBG? No, 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 Smokey Smoked. If you buy the game today, on the 13th, the game comes out in 10 days. Yeah. So it, it, it you will have the full version before the end of the month. It is not a PUBG situation. You're not buying early, well, technically you're buying early access at this point, but again, in two weeks, you will be holding the full version. It, it, it's not like PUBG where it was an early... Well, to, to be fair, this game was not early access for years. Um, but, you know, they've been very upfront about their development process the whole time. So, yeah. Welcome I kind of put the Subnautica Captain. devs in the same boat as I do The Forest. If you guys remember that game. The Forest actually went from, like, a buggy mess of features into a really fun and interesting actual game with an ending and subnautica has basically gone the same path um so i mean it took it took the forest a few years it took subnautica a few years but damn it they got there and i i honestly cannot wait to see the ending of this game i am so interested to see what they're going to do with it um i'm i'm pretty excited 
Okay, so salt goes here. We're going to put salt in there. Um, we have two batteries. I wonder if a zero charge is going to be okay, though. Can we use a zero charge battery to make a power cell? Yeah, we can. Okay, great. Okay, there's the power cell. Then we need lubricant. We can grab some lube from outside. Um, it doesn't really feel right saying that, but I'm, I'm doing it live, so... Will there be multiplayer in this game? To be honest, I don't know their plans for multiplayer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about it. I have to say though, this game plays really well as a single player game. Um, I, I don't, not every game needs multiplayer. Um, oh, I have 0 0.3 strength now. Where's it saying that? Is it when I attach things? Where does it show my... Uh, my integrity? It's probably on the screen somewhere and I'm just missing it, right? Oh, it's in the top left when you build it? Okay, thank you been totally missing it. No surprise. So what we'll need to do is is build some foundations. That's two titanium, two lead. We got to get a lot more lead, by the way. We do not have a lot of lead. We can build one of these now to help. I think it will help. Let's see. Oh. I thought... Do we have to build the foundations first? How does this system work now? Uh, neither of those seem right. So I could put this foundation here, and then when I build Yeah, okay. That actually counted. So, cool. Alright. Okay. Great, so we can put like four here, and that'll help, and then we can build up from there. We can probably put one under there somehow. Oxygen. And if not, we can just, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then we can also build bulkheads inside. We can not only build bulkheads, which are these here, but we can also build Reinforcements when we get lithium. Oh wow, that takes lithium now. Hmm. Hey, we can build a scanner room. Okay, well, we'll look into all this. We'll we'll get it figured out. I'm not too worried. Do we get integrity when we build one of these? Or do we lose integrity? Let's check real quick. We're at 2.3 right now. Oh, yeah, so we definitely lose integrity when we build those. Now, can I still build my foundations? No, look at that, I can't. Oh, well, we can put one there. Why can't I put one back here? Oh, I can't put one back here. That's weird. Okay. So we can build four more of these back here, and we'll do that for sure. I gotta say, it definitely bugs me a little bit that the foundations don't line up with the bottom of these. That's weird. They'll always be off by a little bit. Is that because of something I did? Hmm. Like, if I were to just put a foundation down normally... Like over here, can I center it on top? Oh, that is the game. Oh, bummer. Okay, well that's fine, whatever. 
I'm more focused on what's above the foundations anyway, so I don't really care. Good. And I don't think we're going to find lithium for a little bit. Okay, so we need, uh, let's see. Let's get back to what we were doing. We got our power cell. We got our lubricant. We got our titanium ingot. And... And then... And then... Lead and two glass. Lead and two glass. Oh, I didn't use all my lead, did I? No, we have one more. Great. And just about enough for two glass. Okay. Oh, man. Seamoth hype. Seamoth hype. Here we go. Remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Bam! Woo! All right, let's go. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, that is so right. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so um. We got our sea moth. Now I think it's time to keep working towards well everything else we need. Um, so let's go ahead and pick some of these to start looking at. I think we've done both of these. So we need to do this guy. Carrying high priority passenger remains. Let's go. Alright, man. Uh, do we have to bank anything? Are we good? Mm, good enough. Good enough. Actually, no, you know what? Before we do this, let's put away those two other things we got real quick. Oh, you think this sub is cool? Just wait until later. <laughs> just wait until later. Let me just put it this way. Eventually, you see this sub right here? You see this little sub right here? Eventually, we get a sub that this sub docks into. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. I really want to get that scanner room going, because then we could like scan out for lead and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, wait, Frantic Surf says they nerfed the Cyclops. Did they? They nerfed the Cyclops? Oh, I hope not. Yes, they're subs within subs. Kind of like the subscribers on this channel. It's subception. Yep, that's exactly right. Subs within subs. What is that thing? Why is it? Oh my god, this is so annoying. I'm just gonna drop it there. Boom! Nice! stuff in here too. You go in the living container. I don't know what we're going to do with this purple tablet. I guess we'll just hang on to that for now. Alright, let's go. Bada boom. 
We can also put a bunch of modules and stuff on this, but we can't do that yet. No tables? Oh, I should, I should, uh... We'll put some tables up when we go back. Damn, this thing is quick. There's a coffee machine and it dispenses coffee? Oh, hell yeah. Mick Lagarde says, what is the goal of this game? The official goal is to get to what is going to be available on the 23rd, which is the end of the game. There is an actual ending to Subnautica, and that ending is coming when the game releases on the 23rd. So that will eventually be the goal. Now, what is my goal for this run? My goal is to build a badass base, build every single vehicle, go to every waypoint and story explorable, explorable location, visit every biome at least once, and complete the game. Yep. That is my goals for the game. Those are, those are my goals, I should say. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, they made this pop in so much better. This place used to look so bad when you got near it. There's still a little bit of pop in, but man, it's nothing like before. The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Mm. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't think he made it, chat. I don't think he made it. Integrating new PDA data. Is there anything else for us to get here? Doesn't look like it. 30 seconds. Anything to scan or... Oh, lithium! Oh, that's cool. Oxygen. Okay. That's the first lithium we've got. We can build bulkheads out of that. Let's see what else is over here. Let's take a look at this log. Give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. All I have to say is that apparently in the future, they worship tech support. On and off and on again will fix all known problems in this world. It's very true. Very true. True statement. If you're working tech support right now, and you can hear me, just know you are the future. Whoa! There's Cyclops stuff here? Oh my. Oh, there's a big old thing of lithium. Nirvana would be so excited right now. Where is... Mm. A lot of big deposits here, but we need the mining robot for that. That's not, for a, that's not until a lot later. Now, unfortunately, that really didn't give us a lot of stuff. It did bring us to this biome, which is nice, but it really didn't give us much. Hey, Saiyan Tigress, how are you? Oh, lead, great. 
need a bunch of that. Or how deep are we? 152? Oh yeah, that's not good. You gotta be careful down here. 